Have you heard about the new American Express Rewards checking account or wondering what it has to offer? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the debit card and whether or not it's worth opening an account. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30. On this channel, we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including banking tool reviews like this one. While American Express may be mostly known for its high-end credit cards like the Platinum, the company recently introduced a new debit card option. With Amex Rewards checking, customers can enjoy a number of banking perks alongside other benefits such as purchase protection, all without monthly fees or a minimum deposit requirement. So what else does Rewards checking have to offer? Let's take a look at a few things to know about the account, including how it stacks up against some of the hype surrounding it. The first things to know about the American Express Rewards checking account is that the debit card does earn membership reward points, and you can redeem those points for deposits into your account. Easily the biggest headline of the Amex debit card is that it earns membership rewards points. Specifically, cardholders can earn one MR point for every $2 spent with the card. Considering that most MR earning cards have a base of one point per dollar spent, this might not sound like a great deal, but it's still unique for a debit card. Also notable is that, unlike with Amex credit cards in which customers won't typically see earned points applied to their account until after they've paid off their statement balance, I've noticed that points from my debit purchases have applied as soon as the transaction posts. For those who already earn membership rewards points with a credit card, any points earned with rewards checking will be lumped into the same account and can be redeemed in any way they see fit. Additionally, customers will now have the option to redeem their points for deposits into the rewards checking account. By the way, cardholders who don't currently have a membership rewards earning credit card and open a rewards checking account will only be able to redeem their points for deposits. In either case, points are assessed at a value of 0.8 cents each when used for these deposits, meaning that cashing out 10,000 MRs would yield an $80 deposit. This option is available for any MR points that you earn, as Amex doesn't differentiate whether points were earned with your credit or debit card. There also doesn't seem to be a minimum number of points redeemable, as I was able to cash out a single point as a test, although this could obviously change in the future. Next, to add funds to your account, you can either link an external bank account or use mobile check deposit in the app. When it comes to moving money to your accounts, you have a couple of options. First, if you already have banking accounts linked to your Amex accounts for payments, you'll have the chance to simply add them to your checking account as well. Alternatively, you can select your current bank and log into your account in order to link it. Currently, you can link up to four external accounts at a time. Meanwhile, if you want to deposit a check, that option is available using the Amex app. Seeing as many fintech apps these days have started cutting mobile check deposit from their list of features, it's kind of nice to see Amex incorporating it from the jump. In addition to those checking features, the account also earns interest much like a savings account. Despite being a checking account, Amex does offer a fairly respectable APY. At the time of this recording, Amex is offering 0.5% APY on rewards checking funds. While this isn't outstanding, it's still 10 times the national average and happens to match what Amex pays on its high yield savings account. So considering that most checking accounts don't even pay interest, I think this is still a qualified win. If you want to pull cash out of your account, you'll have access to thousands of fee-free ATMs with your Amex debit card. Like many other digital bank accounts without physical branches, Amex partners with an ATM network in order to provide customers with fee-free options. In this case, Amex rewards checking users can withdraw cash at MoneyPass ATM network machines. While it's a bit smaller than the AllPoint network, I personally prefer MoneyPass's locations. To find one of these more than 37,000 machines, customers can use the Locate ATM feature within the Amex app. Finally, at the time that I'm recording this in February 2022, Amex Rewards checking is only available to current consumer card members, but hopefully that could change in the future. In order to apply for a rewards checking account, you must currently be an Amex card member with a consumer, aka non-business, card. Furthermore, it states that customers will need to have their card account for at least three months to be eligible. When you do open an account, your debit card will be added to your list of available accounts on AmericanExpress.com or the app. As for non-Amex cardholders, although the company hasn't specified plans to expand its rewards checking offering, they do seem to imply that it could happen down the road. On that note, some of Amex's other products, such as the aforementioned high yield savings account, are open to all, so it seems likely that this would eventually roll out further as well, but we'll just need to wait and see. Overall, there are a few reasons why I think the Amex rewards checking account makes sense for card members, but unfortunately, the account doesn't yet unlock all the possibilities that some wished it would. As digital banking accounts go, Amex Rewards Checking is fairly solid with a decent APY, some purchase protection, ATM access, and some other benefits. Of course, the fact that you only earn one membership reward points per $2 spent and they don't even cash out at a full cent is disappointing. 
On the other hand, considering that cardholders typically only get 0.6 cents per point for statement credits, this 0.8 cent option could be a nice improvement if you don't want to bother opening something like the Charles Schwab Platinum. Currently, however, the Amex debit card doesn't live up to its full potential as it's not always recognized as a debit card. Because of this, the dream of reduced fees or acceptance where credit cards aren't hasn't been fully realized. For example, while Amazon notes that my Amex is a debit card, my apartment's rent portal is still assessing it with a 36 something dollar fee instead of the debit card rate of just $6.95. Although Amex says it will continue to work with merchants to ensure the debit card is processed correctly, I wouldn't exactly hold my breath waiting for some new point earning possibilities to open. But if you're looking for a digital bank account anyway and want a quick easy cash out option for your MR points, then I think it's worth opening a free reward checking account, although you also might want to wait to see if Amex offers a sign up bonus in the future. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what the American Express Rewards Checking Account is all about, but for more on the offering, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.